Here we go. Scaly time, baby. Scaly time, baby. Etia just resubscribed for two months. Fedora 26 Fui. Welcome back from the ad break, by the way. Uh, what you missed is I found a treasure chest and it exploded. Uh, it had nothing in it. Uh, and so everyone took damage. Um, and I gave Meow a cheeseburger so he could regain his health. Feed your cats cheeseburgers. Well known, well known fact for their health. It's, it's good for them. <laughs> Don't actually do that, I'm joking. For legal reasons, this is a joke. <laughs> do not feed your cats cheeseburgers unless they are like fantasy cats uh, in a video game. All right, you, you you heard her. Uh, you heard her, folks. Feed your catch cheeseburgers. <laughs> uh, let me crank that audio up a little bit. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? And I see people already hopping on in. Welcome on in, and uh, thank you for the birthday wishes and happy birthday to you as well, Ether. <laughs> Uh, we do have a we do a prediction going. Um, I said my goal would be finding Noah this stream, but uh, I also thought I'd find Noah last stream. So, <laughs> will will we find Noah this time? The prediction is up. Uh, and hello, Ragey. Hello, Kep. Hello, Pocket. Congratulations on your first Pocket. And Ether, welcome on in, and thank you for that resub. Uh, and uh, hello, Lady Flib. And any lurkers today, and any uh, VOD watchers, I'm Fedorasaurus, the Stegosaurus PNG tuber. And today we are finally getting back to Fantasy Star after, I guess, two weeks. It feels like longer, though. <laughs> it feels like longer. But yes, hello, everybody. And yes, I did have a birthday stream on my birthday, so I think the VOD for that is still i don't know maybe not well if it's not on twitch anymore i'll try to get it up on youtube we played some undertale uh we, we revisited undertale for the first time in a while and it was a lot of fun um and anyway let's go hop right into how is everybody doing as i hop into uh, my gaming screen we are playing the version on the switch it's uh the port on sega ages and uh we're playing a version of it that has a lower encounter rate higher xp gain uh, so you'll see, you know, less random encounters, but a little bit easier. Hopefully less grinding. She's um, bald? I am bald for the next five minutes. Hello, Sergeant Legend Killer. In fact, before we hop into the game, you guys can vibe to the uh, Otavia, th Otavia theme while I do some shout outs. So last time we played this game, we talked to the mayor of Palm... Or, no, the mayor of uh, Motavia, and uh, we got attacked by... The succubus is some kind of monster that attacked us while we were sleeping. And, uh, but, like, no one really acknowledged it. We just kind of woke up from the nightmare and, uh, went about our business. The mayor said that we need to find Noah. We have a letter of recommendation. We're getting a letter from the governor so that Noah can join our party. We just have to find her, or him, um, whichever version of Noah you- I mean, yeah. Uh, her in the US version, him in she the Japanese version. She can dance if she wants to. She can leave her friends behind. I believe the character- I believe the character was intended to be androgynous, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and, uh, oh, other thing, I don't think I mentioned last time. So Noah's name in the English version is Noah, but in the Japanese version, their name was Lutz, uh, L-E-U-T-Z. Uh, it might be pronounced Lutz, I'm not sure, but not that it's a big deal. I mean, a lot of games got changed for the English version, um, but because of the later games in the series kind of reference things from the first game, if you see the name Lutz appear in one of the other games, Noah is who they're talking about. It was kind of a weird thing that they, they changed his name for one of the games, but not all of the times he gets mentioned in the series. So yeah, just so there's no confusion. <laughs> if you see the name Lutz later in the series, that's who it's talking about. But we gotta find him. We gotta find them. So uh, they said that uh, Lutz or Noah is in the cave north of town. Uh, barbarian. Oh yeah, I love the uh, Motavians. They're like little rat people. They're so cute. <laughs> like honestly, like they're not intimidating at all. But uh, they are called barbarians, I guess. Yes. <laughs> and there's like different colored ones. Like there's these blue ones. I think there's like some red ones too. But. It's such a shame that for a game that takes place on different alien worlds, you don't really get any alien party members. You never get a little rat guy in your party. Uh, let's try talking to... I don't know if we have to cast a spell to talk to them, but let's see if we can talk to these guys. Oh, oh! 
He says hello! <laughs> Chat, the barbarian says hi! <laughs> I had a feeling we could talk to these guys. Hello! And the encounter ends. <laughs> Oh, Chris Post says, well, clearly his full name is Noah Lutz. See, that would be, that would be a good way to do it. It's like how, um, it's like how in Street Fighter, uh, Charlie's name was Charlie in the US version and Nash in the Japanese version. And then in later in the series, his full name was Charlie Nash. And that was a great way around it. <laughs> uh, hello, Crystal. And, uh, I don't know if I said hi to Crispo, but yes, hello. Welcome on in, guys. You're just in time for us to start. I think the cave north of town is up this way. Oh, and we found out we can talk to the barbarians, so let's talk. We are outcasts, forgive us. Oh no! Oh, that's so sad! So they're not really barbarians, they're just the native people who are just, like, cast out. <laughs> oh, that's so sad! <laughs> Those poor little rat guys. Uh, so this is probably the cave we're supposed to find. Hey, Thunder that Coyote, welcome on in! Yeah, I guess we don't know what they are. They're called barbarians. They could, for all we know, they could be, you know, just some nomadic folks who just live in the desert attacking people. But if you can just think to talk to them, sometimes they're not so bad. I didn't mean, I, I really, I swear, time really flies with these streams. Okay, so we got ourselves a new dungeon to explore. Uh, yeah, Randy says it recontextualizes random battles. Are they actually attacking or they show up in your path and it's the player who chooses violence? <laughs> I mean, there are, um, there's a version of those rap people. I think it's like the ones that are like the red color palette. They do, they can't be talked to. So I kind of wonder, like, you know, could be the ones that don't want to talk to you. It might be the ones that are actually like being aggressive. But then these little these blue guys are just like, yeah, there's a vibing. <laughs> So I am getting my uh, dinosaur hands on real quick. Might be pronounced closer to lutes or roots because of Japanese pronunciation. And you should be able to see it. Okay. So let's not get ourselves turned around. Last time I did a dungeon, I was getting a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit concerned that I was messing it up. So I'm gonna try to be careful, just take it slow this time. Okay. And little hands covering the screen. Okay, so we're gonna say, we'll, let's start around here. Oh, oh, thank you, Lady Flip. I have the ones on my desk as well, but that light, lights up the whole room. So let's make this the entrance. Because you never know if it's gonna loop around. So let's go and just get started. We're gonna take it slow, and let's see where Noah is hiding. Unless we went to the wrong cave, but I think it's this one. <laughs> one step forward, and we got a left and right path. Blue Thunder 97, welcome on in, Blue. By the way, Blue, I think that the uh, birthday gift that you ordered off of Throne on my birthday stream, I think that just arrived. I haven't opened it yet, but I think that might have been what, what just arrived tonight. So <laughs> again, thank you so much for that. That was very kind of you. And I realized that you could actually put cat treats on your Throne list. So like, if anyone ever wants to get Roger little cat treats, you know where to go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you so much for letting me know what you got arrived. Um, so the system works, I guess. Yeah, thank you so much for that. That was very nice of you. I don't know which way to go. Let's roll a die and just have that decide. So, um, even is left and, uh, um, odd is right. Oops. Okay, E, that's a six, that's evens. So we're gonna go left. We're gonna rotate our map. Stego self care. I will definitely do that. Uh, Zawa and welcome on in, Zawa. Welcome, welcome. Oh, let's do a big old stretch. Uh, and I think Roger's got the right idea. Groom your face, wash your hands. Uh, big old stretch. Stretch out your arms and your legs and your back. And I've been having back pain lately, so I'm, I think this stretch is probably good for me. And no slouching, no slouching. And. Take a sip of something hydrating. I've got some tea. I got some loose leaf tea that's supposed to taste like hazelnuts. It's very delicious. Oh, it's still a little bit too hot, but I got a sip in there. I got a sip. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna keep going. And uh, welcome on in, Zawow. Uh, Zawowo. Uh, 
sorry. How how do you say how do you say your name? I see there's a couple of uh, uwus in there, or owos in there, <laughs> but uh, two. All right, so we go two. Turn. Ah, I love having this little turntable. Helps me so much. Go one, two, three. And now the question is, do we want to take that turn to the right or just keep going straight through? I want to keep going straight through to start things off. Two, we had another one. Going to go turn it again. Going up this way. I can probably zoom in a little bit more if we need to. <laughs> Stretch, hydrate, scream to let the unfathomable pain of torture out. No, no, we're not doing anything too extreme. We're just taking it slow today. Nice and slow. Nice and chill. Retro RPG night. screaming from now on. I'm just gonna imagine Pocket getting scared. <laughs> if you haven't checked out her stream when she plays a scary thing, I, I recommend it. But also, tune into Pocket when she's not playing scary stuff. Like, check out her stream, uh, you know, whatever she's doing. It's always a good time there. Oh, it's probably gonna take us in a circle. Okay, I gotcha. Two. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh. It looks like. It looks like. We're gonna find ourselves going in a little bit of a circle here. Interesting. Okay, and then that takes the staircase back up. So let's actually go, just go keep going around, rotate, and we'll take that path, that first path on the right. To the right. Keep going up this path. Looks like the orange is showing up, so that's good. One, two, we got ourselves a wall. How the die decide if we're gonna go left or right. We've got a 16, that's an even, so we're gonna go left. One, two, three, four. I wonder if it's gonna be a bigger circle, a bigger square around the square that we uh, entered through. It's gonna be the square that just kind of expands outwards. Let's find out. One, two, three. Whoa! Spider warning. I mark that. I don't want to get too mixed up here. Um, I don't... Do we try talking to tarantulas yet? I don't remember if we have. Uh, let's let's try talking to them. I can't remember if we can talk to them. Actually, let's try out the uh, spell that we got called chat. Um, let's see what that does. Oh, nope, they can't talk. Okay. Never mind. Ooh, let's... Okay, that's a little bit of a big damage. <laughs> chat, pog you. <laughs> it's about... This. She casts a spell that is you, chat. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> um, 
Let's see if we can try out. I don't know if we figured out what Terra does. I thought it meant like Terra, like Earth, but maybe it means like terrify. Like, does he scare them? Does he big scary cat? And Odin has no spells, I don't think. Yeah, okay. He's just a regular man. Not a fan. Okay. We gotta. I can probably look up what the spells do, but. Um, what is. Okay, fire. What is. Oh, rope is probably restraining, like it just restrains the enemy, so let's actually hang on to her spells for bosses and healing and stuff. Uh, wall. Let's try it. Invisible magic wall arises. Oh shoot, he's restrained Odin. Uh, well, hopefully the wall will help us from taking damage. Oh, nice. The magic wall deflects the tarantula's attack. Okay, good to know. We can cast a, like, a shield. Alright. And a treasure chest. Let's take our chances and open that up. Ooh! Oh, we got some money, but I think we also took some damage from that. How are we looking? Ooh. Um, yeah, I was kind of hurt, but... Uh, hmm. You know what? And also, I don't think I bought healing items at the, at the store, but we do have a burger and a soda pop, so let's give Meow that soda. There we go. There we go. We'll be okay. And the fedora can back up. One... And we got a path to the right of us. Just keep going around. I kind of have a feeling it's going to be another square around the first square, though. Let's let's keep going. One, two, three, four. Squares are within squares. At least there's been no, uh, oh, there's been no bottomless pits and stuff yet. <laughs> you love these adventures, having fast food takeout in the middle of the subterranean stone dungeon. Yeah, I love it. It's so funny. I think, I think I might mention, I think, like, Earthbound has, like, burgers for healing items, but, like, Earthbound takes place in, like, you know, a modern day setting, but this takes place in, like, the future, but it's, like, medieval fantasy, so, like, why are we sitting around eating McDonald's while doing, like, you know, swords and sorcery? Kind of it's really funny. I love it. And we've encountered a red slime, and I don't know... We've encountered green slimes, but we've never encountered red slimes. So let's just... Wait, can we talk to them? Let's... Always always try talking. Always try talking. No, we cannot understand each other. Oh man, he just immediately restrains me out. Okay, he's well, not that strong, so let's just... I mean, there are two of them. Oh gosh. Oh no, we're all restrained! Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> At least Meow can dodge when he's restrained. Okay, well this could be... This could be a bit of a... Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> this could be a bit of a pickle, though. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no. No! <laughs> also, how is it that there's two slimes and all three of us have been able to get tied up at the same time? I can get multiple enemy or get multiple. Oh my gosh, Meow freed himself and then immediately got restrained again. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, at least I don't do a lot of damage. Like, at least, at least. Maybe I should give Odin a uh, an axe or something. But I like attacking multiple enemies with the gun. Uh, yeah, we'll take our chances opening it. Okay, lots of money. I mean, we know if we do if we do end up dying, we can always pay for the being revived. Three, four, five. We got a path to the left. That, that leads back around. I know where that goes. Let's keep going straight forwards. One. Like it's, it looks like that's looks like what's going on. Oh. Uh -oh. All right, so 
Now we're gonna turn. It's not so far it's not been uh, too complicated but if it is gonna end up being kind of a big circle um, we might just want to commit to go in one direction like you know just commit to go in this way or you know not instead of going a whole circle we might want to just pick a path and, and just go kind of seeing a pattern here one two, three. although they might also be setting up this pattern and then pull a fast one on us and have a different direction you know pop out of nowhere so At least it's making sense. Five. So let's just go to <laughs> 90 degree hall corridor to turns. Well, Gons. Here's another 90 degree turn. <laughs> I hate to bring it to your attention, but we got another one and we are now facing, uh, oh, I guess we're, I don't even need to turn the map because we're facing that way now. Or wait, yeah. Although I'm a little afraid I'm gonna run off the side of my paper. Two, two, go. All right, let's let the die decide. That is a one, so we're just kind of going right this time. <laughs> we can all scream together. Yes, Sergeant Legend Killer, we can all scream. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got a treasure chest, so let's go ahead and mark that. lines there. Alright, do we want to open the treasure chest? We're a little low on health, but assuming it's not trapped, I think it's probably gonna be worth the risk, so let's let's open it up. Okay, just $20. That's I mean that's fine. Not nothing too exciting, but uh, you know, hey, it's it's something, and it wasn't a trap. So we're good. Let's turn ourselves back around and see what's at the other end of the hallway. Are we going up this way? Takes us to branch. Okay, so we go one, two, five, six, branch. Head, but let's actually turn. This time, let's actually make that. Actually, you know what? Let's keep going. Well, hmm. Keep going straight through another turn. So yeah, this one here might actually be circling around. So let's keep going straight through here. One, two. Turn. All right, starting to starting to kind of break from the from the pattern here. Let's see where this leads us. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh my gosh. back to like where that is. <laughs> Even bigger square it might be. Why take care should be going there. Maybe we should have maybe we should have checked this one out. This 
this middle one, because if this one is going to loop back to here, then maybe this is the one we need to go to. So let's actually... Uh oh Let's actually... Val! Val, Maxi, bonjour! Welcome, welcome. How do you say welcome in French, by the way? <laughs> also, shout out Val, Maxi. Um... Bienvenue? Is that my saying that right? Maybe I should wait until I'm watching your stream so you can say it so I don't sound <laughs> so I don't say it completely wrong. Uh oh, I got it, bienvenue. <laughs> See, I'm learning. And thank you for being patient with me, not really knowing French. But yes, go check out Val. Uh how are you doing, Val, by the way? I hope that this Wednesday is going okay for you. Middle of the week. I hope uh also hope that you're uh your uh, HRT is going well. I know you've been you've been on that for a little while now, and it seems to be having good effects uh, so far. So I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> I saw the picture you posted on Twitter, so I'm very happy. I'm happy that you are so happy. So we're gonna actually turn around. We're gonna actually go back this way because I want to check out what that path leads to. Because I think I think Ether's right. I think it's gonna turn to a bigger square. <laughs> so we don't <laughs> instead of going down a square, let's actually see. Let's actually see what that other path. Uh oh. Ooh. There's three of them, but they're just owl bears. Uh, here I'll move the map. But yes, go go check Val out. He likes retro games. He likes spooky games. That was no problem. He likes Mega Man. Yay! I'm glad to hear you're doing so well. He plays Mega Man, and he is a Mega Man himself. HRT is going smoothly. Yes, so glad to hear it. And then we're going to go. We're going to go. Rotate our map, and then we're going to go check out this path. I hope. I hope this leads to where we want to go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh no! Oh, I should have known. I should have known. But maybe that is where we want to go. Maybe Noah's downstairs, you know? I should have known the empty hallway was going to lead to a trap. Four. Five is a six. You know what? Nope. It's no problem. Maybe, maybe, maybe. See, look, now we're in front of like a door. So like maybe Noah's in there, you know? You never, you never know. But I'll be grabbing another piece of paper here. As long as we're not running into that problem we ran into a couple streams ago where we just continuously kept falling and it took us forever to find the way out. <laughs> I've got my, uh, my binder here, my, uh, my notebook binder. Um, my paper. Everything's nice and organized in here. I've got tabs for each of the different, each of the different, uh, planets. We haven't gone to Deseret yet, so, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll you know. We know it's not really a spoiler to say that there's three planets in this game. Because uh, the NPCs mentioned it at the beginning that there are three planets in the Algol system. Alright, so. Just find the approximate spot that we fell. Um, what? And is there anything behind us? Is a is a hallway behind us? We are facing what looks like a door. Okay. Oh wait, is there anything to the right and left of us? Just walls. Okay. And then there's something in front of us. curious about what this door is. I want to check that out. Oh, it is a staircase leading up. Okay, good to know. Fell straight down a hole. At least it seems like it's not too hard to find a way back up. And since we know where the upstairs is, I kind of wonder if we should explore down here a little bit. Kind of wonder... 
You know, what if Noah's down here, you know? What if, what if they're down here somewhere and... Hmm. Let's, let's, you know, I'm just, I'm gonna just satisfy my curiosity here. One, two, get to a wall. Actually, back up, make sure I'm actually, oh, crap. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Just a couple of spiders, no big deal. Oh man. Oh my cat. Gals dodged. Meow removes the bindings. You cannot restrain the cat for long. There we go. Go ahead and grab that treasure chest. All that money. Good stuff. Okay, so now we're back as far as we can go. So we go one, two, okay. Go. Sure, that seems... Okay, yeah, that's right. That's right, that's right. Oops, uh, map. No. All right, let's go around that corner. We'll see what's over there. go left or right let's roll that die get a one once again so we're gonna go um left this time now this is also going to be uh this is also going to be like a square within a square oh five all hello welcome on in no hey if you gotta <laughs> if you gotta sleep you gotta sleep we are playing Fantasy Start tonight, a good old, old school 1980s fantasy sci-fi RPG. We're looking for Noah, the wizard, but we don't know where they are. Probably in this dungeon somewhere. No more sleep for Doris, our time. Aw, well, thank you for hopping on in. Thank you for joining me on this, in this dungeon crawling adventure. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. We are, we are mapping all these by hand just for the fun of it. I'm trying to kind of get it as lined up as possible with the uh, map underneath it. It does look like the bottom floor is kind of a. Uh, copy of the- well then again, so we fell about here, yeah it does kind of look like a copy of the floor above us, that's really interesting. That's interesting, okay well anyway, also, also I want to probably mark this as basement one because we don't know how many basements there's gonna be, for all we know there could be lots of basements in this dungeon. That's interesting though. Oh yes, <laughs> I got the dino hands today! <laughs> If we do the jigsaw puzzle stream, I'll probably have some uh, fingerless ones that might be a little easier to grab stuff with. But uh, yeah, <laughs> no, no human flesh hands here. <laughs> so glad that you like them. <laughs> okay, now let's see. Let's see where this goes. One, two, three, four. Be a, a square within a square. Fedora found the upstairs, but up the up dog. <laughs> Obligatory, what's up, dog? <laughs> Let's actually check out what this side pathway is. Let's actually check that out. Actually, no. Let's actually let's actually scope this out first. I don't want to get too turned around. And I think my camera might not actually be straight okay there we go 
It's straight now. And we are going to be going uh, this way. One, two, three, four, five. We got another turn. So let's go. It's actually being a square like the other one. Keep going. Curious, but well, let's find out. One, two, three, four. Oh. Alright, got more red slimes. Now we know the red slimes can restrain our party, and Meow is looking a little a little hurt. I think Odin's also at like half health now. I kind of wish we could see an HP bar to get an idea of how their health is doing. Um, but I think most of these characters start with like around 100 health, so I think we're all looking a little bit halfway, but... Let's actually, yeah, let's do some magic. Let's, let's blast them with some fire. I hope red slimes are not immune to fire, though, because they are red and fire is red. And in RPGs, red enemies are usually immune to fire. But let's let's see what happens. Let's let's fire. And then we have these guys do normal attacks. OK, well, it, it seemed to do some damage. There we go. There we go. Hey, we're, we're good on money. We're good on money. So we're going to uh, one, and then there's a turn. Uh, so, so I'm looking, trying to figure out whether it's a mirror of the floor above us. I feel like it might be, but it's probably too too soon to say right now. So we're just going to keep going and see what happens. Thank you for letting me know, by the way. Also, Arcade Castle, welcome on in, Arcade. Oh, thank you for the cheer, Arcade. Thank you. And let's shout out Arcade Castle. And we're going to turn uh, this way. So let's rotate that. We keep going up uh, this path. And yes, Arcade is also a, a PNG tuber, VTuber. Uh, oh, a dead end. Oh, I don't trust this. I don't trust this dead end. Um, I feel like this might drop us down again. Hmm. Eh, you know what? I don't trust it, but you know what? No, wait, <laughs> I don't, I, I kind of don't trust it. So, I mean, there could be a treasure chest or something back there or, or Noah could be there and he might not be loaded in until we get closer, but maybe we should check out those other, maybe we should check out these two passageways first, just in case it drops us. Cause like, what if Noah's up here, you know? I don't, <laughs> I'm too suspicious. <laughs> No, this way. Okay. <laughs> I'm too suspicious. I say that now these gates, these ways are probably gonna be, you know, drop us down in a hole, but still. Two. That tells me that this path will probably connect to this one. But let's roll that die and have it determine where we're gonna go. That's odds we're gonna go left. It's a mysterious dead end. Okay. I don't know if I trust that. Uh, let's do it this way. Okay. So this way, this way, there's not necessarily any kind of mysterious uh, dead end. So let's just. <laughs> Oops. One, two. Let me turn to the left. And I mean. The dead ends could have treasure chests in them, we don't know, but they could also be trap doors and we don't want to fall down, so I'm just gonna try to play it safe. Let's play it safe, play it safe. One, two, three. Ahead of us, which looks like a mysterious dead end. Well, the, uh, actually, the version that I'm playing on the Switch, uh, you can turn on a setting that maps the dungeons for you. Obviously, the original game did not map the dungeons for you. Uh, you had to do it on graph paper or, or just vibes. Uh, so we're doing it 
by hand, but if you get this game, you don't have to you don't have to do this. You can actually turn on the setting that maps it for you, and that would help quite a lot. We did actually get lost even doing this method, so uh, yeah. <laughs> so it is understandable that you can definitely get lost easily in this game. Yeah, this is called the Sega Ages uh, Fantasy Star on the Switch. You can also get a version of this game on Game Boy Advance, which contains uh, the first three Fantasy Star games. They don't have any special features or anything like that. It's just like the original games just ported in a collection, which is nice. You can have all three games in one cartridge, but I like this um, Switch version as it has the special features. All right, let's actually check out what's to the right of us before we start investigating these mysterious dead ends. It could be treasure, it could be Noah, it could be trapdoors. Just play it safe. So oh, this one probably connects to that one, but let's see what the die wants us to do. Die on screen like this? <laughs> it's a, a nine, that's odds. Uh, so I think we said odd was left. Let's go left. Two. Four. Not. <laughs> and let's just keep going around the outside ring here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Our map too. I hope this. I hope this dungeon doesn't get any wider. <laughs> we'll have to staple another piece of paper to it if that's the case, or tape. Staple is a little bit barbaric. Oh, a treasure chest! A treasure chest? Mind if I do? Uh, so that's gonna be that. So, all right, all right. No, no I want to, I want to, I want to know what's in it. Also, oh man, I meant to make a save file before the dungeon just in case we got really lost, but we'll just, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. A burger. We got a burger. It's, it's not the not coming with special treasure, but uh, I'm gonna take I'll take healing items wherever I can get them because I forgot to buy healing items at the store at the uh, in the uh, in-game shop. A burger and a chili. Yeah, someone just left their McDonald's just like in a treasure chest. Like that doesn't sound very like I don't think I would want to eat. I don't think I want to eat. <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat a burger that's just been sitting in a treasure chest for who knows how long. So let's go up, 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 and then let's see what's down uh, this hallway here. So let's go and see what that leads to. Because I think this is just going to lead around and connect. One. Whoop. Uh, these are the red ones. I think they do not want to talk to you. But we can try. We, we can try. We can try. But uh, yeah, more of these rat people. I think the E, I think it stands for evil. Uh, e e evil farmer. <laughs> it's a rat. It's actually a, it's a team of like six rat people. <laughs> e farmer. Unfortunately, not estrogen farmer. Um, can we chat to them? Love the rat people. Yeah, <laughs> I think you and Reiji and like, oh, who is that person? Uh, Starry Eyed Demon Girl who was in stream, who's in chat the other day, said that she has like pet rats. So I don't know if she's if she's lurking. Here's some rats. <laughs> Let's try chatting to them. I, I think I, I think I think talking doesn't work, but let's see if chatting works. Oh. Okay. Um, a nut, a nut of Lerma needs special light to glow. Okay, so yeah, regular talking doesn't work, but magical talking does. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make a note of that. Also, that, that spell, the spell casting music is kind of a bop. So if we find a nut, so if we find a special nut, we need a special source of light to grow it. Good to know, good to know. And the, the farmers, the farmers would know about growing nuts, so you know what? Also, kind of missed. Okay, so this is one, two, okay. Oh, shoot, my map's not on the screen, sorry about that. So we're doing, we're doing okay, we're not attacking the rat people so far and they're not attacking us. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so far the rat people are, are being uh, kind, or at least not not completely vicious towards us. <laughs> I kind of wonder if the rat people, like, how big are they? Are they, like, the size of rats? Or are they, like, human-sized? Or, like, you know, halfling-sized? Like, how big are these rat people? They, they, the sprites make me think they're kind of big, but, like, they're also rats. <laughs> So let's roll that die. Do we want to go left or do we want to go right? We're gonna go left again. Okay, so let's see if that let's see if that path really does connect to that one there. They might be. Also, uh, Takirosh, welcome on in. Let me know if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Oh, a dead end? It's a dead end. Ugh, I don't trust dead ends. Let's see what's the other way. Let's see what the other way it has. I'm a little, I'm a little worried that it's going to be another one, two. Okay. So that's going to go. Circle us back. We'll, we'll map this out and then check out the dead ends and see if that's going to drop us down to another basement. Uh, oh, this way, this way. All right, so now we're here. We're going to go up. is the correct pronunciation. Oh, Taki? Okay, great, Taki. And uh, the the Ellison, uh, the, no, the Elysian? No, the Ellison, the Ellison. <laughs> uh, sorry, also, welcome on in, welcome on in. Do you, do either of you guys stream? By the way, I can give you guys some shout outs if you are streamers also. No relation to the snack Takis. <laughs> I didn't, I figured, I figured. <laughs> Ellie. Okay, great. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie and Taki, welcome on in. I hope not a streamer. Well, that's all right. H thank you for hopping on in and checking out my Fantasy Star uh, mapping things live on stream stream. <laughs> oh, darn. I might need to attach another piece of graph paper to my graph paper. Darn. Okay, let me see. We're, we're here. Oh, there's Roger. Hello, Roger. That's my cat, Roger. He's 18-year-old little man. One, two... Oh, maybe we have just enough space. <laughs> just enough space. Yes. So that one to the right might be a bit might be a dead end. <laughs> yep, he's an old old man. His uh, previous owners thought he might have been like twelve, but we took him to the vet and they think that he's closer to eighteen. So actually, nineteen now. Eighteen or nineteen now. I need to make a pet command so that you guys can pet, well, spiritually pet Roger. <laughs> Oh shoot, we're coming up, coming up on an ad break. I'm actually gonna snooze that because we got a couple people who just showed up and I don't wanna, you know, you guys just got here. I don't wanna, you know, put ads on right now. He is not a shrimp today, that's true. He's kind of, he's kind of up. Oh, okay, we got a treasure chest. So we got, I had a feeling, I had a feeling. This is, this is key. So the last treasure chest we found had a burger in it. Let's see if this one's got cola in it to match. <laughs> Ugh, it was a burger, but it also blew up. Oh, how are we looking? Well, I guess I guess we should use that burger to heal, I guess. <laughs> I guess we need to <laughs> I guess we got <laughs> Gazing into the infinite, what knowledge does his little orange head hold? Roger's got no thoughts. As it should be. <laughs> uh yeah, I love how this game. Oh, yeah, the letter, that's for Noah. I love how this game, like, all the healing items are, like, uh... Like, you know, burgers and cola. Feed your cat a burger. M meow is a cat, by the way, and, uh, Meow has the burger. Let's give another burger to, uh... To no or o Odin. I think Alice will be okay. She seems to be really good on, like, her defense stat. Uh, Takirosh is a purple dragon, no relation to Spyro. We actually do, uh... I mean, sorry, I don't want to do- hey, I, that reminds me of my stream, but I do stream Spyro every other Sunday, so if you like purple dragons, purple dragon wants to see more purple dragons. <laughs> I think this Sunday we're doing Spyro? But anyway, <laughs> Spyro hype, yes! But we love dragons here, we love scalies. I, I mean, obviously I'm a scaly. <laughs> we have scaly Sundays. Um, 
And uh, also, I stream. I'm now streaming three days a week. If you like old games, I've been starting to play Deus Ex for the first time. It's uh, it's not as hard as I remember it being the last time I tried playing it, uh, which was a long time ago. Uh, we're gonna save this. We're gonna save the flying parts of Spyro for uh, much later. I think we're gonna put them off until the very end <laughs> because they're too hard. But uh, we'll we'll do it. We'll do it. Oh yeah, JC Denton. Yeah. Oh, and those are better TTV emotes. So if you if you don't know why we're saying JC Denton in chat, it's because we're using emotes on better TTV. So we're here, right? So we're gonna go up this way. So let's let's just keep going. Let's just see where this leads. One, two, and then we got the one that turns to the left, which I think. inside the square. Let's just continue going on the outside of the square. <laughs> One, two, three, end farmer. Hmm. That's a unique looking enemy. I don't know if that's the dead end or not. Well, anyway, I just want to... So that looks like a more of a unique enemy, maybe. I wonder if it's... Here. <laughs> Blue Rat? Remy from Ratatouille? End Farmer. What does the end stand for, I wonder? Let's try talking to them. It's just the one. Oh, oh he's talking. You thief! What do you mean, you thief? I mean, he's gone, but like... I wonder what he meant by that. Oh, Night Farmer, maybe. Hmm. I wonder what he meant by thief. <laughs> it's not A, obviously. All right, well, let's, let's, I'm curious. What happens if we go? Okay, so that's just a regular dead end. No, no traps. No traps, good to know. It's kind of just a, a dead end with nothing. Just a rat who calls us a thief and runs away. Nice farmer, that could be. <laughs> if E was evil farmer, then N could be could be nice farmer. So, so I wonder if he comes back if we uh, back up and return. He, oh no, it's there's more of them though. I don't know. I can't tell if that's a random encounter. Cause we found another. Anyway, we are outcasts. Forgive us. Okay, that's what the other one said. And we are coming up on an ad break. If you're not subscribed, you'll get about three minutes of ads. I will fill you in on what you missed when you come back. If I forget to uh, fill you in, just let me know. Because sometimes I get so caught up in the game, I forget to uh, fill you guys in on what happened during the ad break. But I think you can still kind of see, uh, you know, a little picture in picture during the Twitch ads. But I can't, you can't hear me, obviously, because the ads are blasting. One, two, we got a thing that goes to the right. And let's actually go... Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Uh, that appears to be a dead end. And I don't trust it, so let's just keep going this way. <laughs> One, two, we got a left and right path. <laughs> Part of the fun is... Yeah, oh, well, gosh, this music is a bop. Part of the fun is kind of just going by the seat of your pants, not knowing what's going to happen and what to expect. Um, here, we'll ro roll that die. Uh, 16, so let's go right. Take it to the right. See where that takes us. One, two, three. Take it to the wall. up against other parts of the map like that. But I think we're still okay. I think maybe the mapping is slightly off, but I don't think it's going to be anything too bad this time. We're going really slow this time. I think in previous streams we tried to go a little too fast and that's where we got mixed up. I um, mean, this does look like this does look like something that would be a really good like screensaver, just like a constant, you know, walking through the dungeon just constantly. 
Does that go anything over here? Okay, so it only turns to the left now. Okay. That's it. I don't wonder if we messed something up, but let's keep looking. One, two, Impressed that the graphics made it look like there was an open passage uh, uh, on the left from far away. Yeah, they, I really love, I really love the way the uh, dungeons were done in this game. It's a shame that Fantasy Star 2 does a different style of dungeons where it's like top down instead of first person. I mean, it's not a big deal. I, I like Fantasy Star 2, but I, I kind of miss these like classic dungeon crawlers. there but we figured it out. So yeah, we are here. And there is oh a door. Okay. Does Roger enjoy scritches and loveys? He does. He likes little. He likes the chin scritches. He likes getting his cheeks rubbed. Um, and he, I mean, with, especially with Lady Flip, my partner. Uh, and when she, I mean, he he loves it when she cuddles him. He'll start purring with her. It's very cute. He kind of like tries to burrow his face into like whatever the warmest thing is, which is usually like Lady Flip, <laughs> like she's laying with him on the floor with him or whatever. Uh, he was like trying to like bury his face into the side of her neck, which is really cute. Probably a little annoying if she's trying to sleep, but you know. <laughs> is is Noah in here? Will the predictions will the predictions uh, pay out? Let's see. Hey, it's Noah! Let's pay out the believers! <laughs> we found Noah! <laughs> okay, let's uh where's that prediction? Manage prediction. Oh my gosh! One percent of people voted that we'd find Noah today! <laughs> she was come. All right, believers, believers. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> oh, Rage, you forgot to vote. That's okay. We'll do more votes again sometime. <laughs> oh yeah, big, big payout to the uh, believers. <laughs> so here's Noah. Uh, who are you? I'm busy with my training now. Do not be a nuisance. No, Noah, we have... Oh, cutscene, okay. I thought I had to use the item, but uh, I've received a letter from the governor. Please read it. God, look at how beautiful Noah is. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful them. Let me see it. Our duty is clear. We must protect the planets of the Algol system from evil. We must first go to the Gothic forests and find Dr. L Dr. Levino. We can use an underground passage from a manhole in the spaceport. Oh, I knew it. I knew that that manhole was suspicious. I guess we can't go into it until this part of the story happens because the game doesn't want us to do stuff out of order. I knew it. I told you, I was like, this manhole looks suspicious and I, I thought we could enter it. But no, I, I didn't. I was right. We just have to like get Noah to come with us first. Maybe Noah has to like break it open with magic or something. Wait, Fievel can't bet on predictions because of gambling laws, which is kind of whack. Yeah, channel points aren't money, so it shouldn't. I guess it's just really strict in your country. I'm sorry about that, Fievel. That's really weird. Yeah, you don't buy channel points on Twitch. It's just like something you get from just like hanging out and watching. Oh, general loot box ban. I mean, with the way a lot of predatory games will do like loot boxes, like kind of get it, but that is a little bit over over fixing the problem to like even prevent Twitch stuff. <laughs> That's weird, but yes, I do understand if they want to like crack down on loot boxes, but yeah, that's a little too far. 
Uh, and and Taki says orange boys may be smart or derpy depending on if they have the, the brain cell. That is true. Uh, Roger is actually blind, so sometimes his like silliness I'll tribute to him just not. You know, he's he's blind and he's old, so he might be a little confused and like he can't really tell like where he's at. But like I do think he's got some of that orange cat brain, you know. <laughs> sometimes he's a little too silly, you know. But yes, he is blind. He's an excuse for being silly. So we can't we can't be too hard on him. Um, now did Noah? Yes, we have Noah! He's got like no health though. But I think they've got lots of magic. Oh, they've got a- hmm. Okay, well they've got a cure spell. That's good. Healing is good. But I think they can learn a lot of really good magic. I think they just might be very underleveled right now. Noah is level one! Oh, no wonder! Oh gosh. So Noah, yeah, Noah, why is Noah only level one? <laughs> well, anyway, we got Noah, we got more magic. Let's actually quickly, uh, let's save because, uh, oops, no. Let's actually save the game. How are we doing on time? We're doing okay on time. I'll be going until the uh, next hour, so. Saving one. Now, uh, let's get out of here. I guess we can now explore the rest of the dungeon. But it is good we fell down, because now we can, uh, now we found Nova. So I'm just gonna make a little, a little note here. This is where we found Nova. I'm just gonna put an O-N. Now we can explore the rest of the dungeon just for fun. But I don't- I'm afraid Noah's gonna get, like, blasted, though. Cause- cause they're only level one, unfortunately. But they'll level up pretty fast if they don't die. Yeah, we did it! Friend acquired- and that's the fourth party member. There's only four, uh, party members in the game, so now we have a full party. Everyone has been found. Now it's just a matter of, uh, solving the mystery and, um, killing the evil king. Saving the solar system, or the algal system. It's not the solar system because, like, their sun is not. It's not soul, it's. it's. algos or whatever. Go. down to the end of this hall. Oops. Now, the lower encounter rate, uh, does mean that we can. you know, it's gonna be a little hard to level up if we can't find encounters. But this is just a single spider, a single tarantula, so let's quickly. Actually, how does Noah got? Okay, just fire. So Alice has that spell too. So let's keep. Ugh, just immediately. Okay. I'm a little afraid that if Odin. Okay. There we go. And let's open that treasure chest. Let's go. Oh, that is true. Uh, Gary Larson, the creator of The Far Side, made a comic about uh, cavemen talking about a Stegosaurus's tail being called a Thagomizer, named after the late Thag Simmons, uh, and so paleontologists thought that was really funny, and so they decided to name their uh, discovery of the Stegosaurus tailbones the Thagomizer, which I think is pretty great. So let's keep going. Let's see what the rest of this pathway has. It did end. Let's, let's look. Let's look. Nothing. Nothing. Just a dead end. Sometimes there's nothing. Uh, mostly they discovered that they never actually named the tail spikes, like, spikes after that cartoon. <laughs> I love... I love, like, the intersection of, like, art and science and humor and the way that, you know, the way these things just kind of happen. I think it's very... it's very fun. I think we're coming up on this side. Let's go. Gonna go. 
The rest of these are just going to be dead ends. Hmm. I think we can just keep exploring for now. We can keep exploring. So we're going to go up here, which is um, here. focus a little bit so I don't get too confused about where I am. I wonder if I use a different color marker when I'm marking my way out. Or use a little like little a little thing to mark where I am like Reggie I think suggested because if I look away from the uh, map I might get a little confused. But we're like here. Here, so we go turn this way. Now, okay. Where we came, this is probably just a dead end. Alright, dead end. A different color marker to mark my way out just in case I like mark the wrong thing. Uh, 90 degree corner hallway court. I can't help it. That's the way the that's the way that's the way they, the, they program the game. Thank you so much for that follow, Perry Plays. Uh, Perry Plays. That sounds like that sounds like uh, if you you're, you you play things, or I guess I'm guessing you stream. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start marking with a blue marker because I don't want to like, you know, I'm just afraid. I'm just afraid that we'll be going backwards and we'll mess up. I said we do nice and slow this time because I got a little stressed out last time. Nice and slow this time. Nice and slow. So now we're gonna go this way. Go up. All right, so now we're about here. So we're gonna want to go right this time. Oh, thank you, thank you for saying that. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you like my vibe. <laughs> let's go. Let's see if this path does actually connect to that one. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, if you guys are getting the cold, snowy weather, be safe. Be safe. One, two, four. So that's gonna be four. Okay, so we've been there. We know that's where that leads. So what leads up to here? Let's find out. One. Oh, a treasure chest. Here. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Do we want to open it? I think we do. We got enough burgers in case it explodes. A flash. Well, we don't need a flash because we have the magic lamp now, but we can sell it next time we get to a shop. We can sell it. So that's good to know. So let's actually go... Right, yeah, we're... we're okay. So now we're here. We go up and see what's to uh, the right there. We haven't gone right yet. So where does this go? Let's find out. Looks like a dead end. Yep, just a regular dead end. Mark that. And we're gonna we're gonna back up all the way up. Now we should be about here. Turn. Which will take us to 
We're just gonna go up and let's see how far uh, straight up we can go. Uh, what Fedora doesn't know is feeling gremlin hours at the moment. How so? <laughs> oh, if you have snowy weather, do do a danger, be a crime. I don't know if I'm gonna endorse that, but uh. <laughs> Five. Oh, that flash looks suspiciously burger shaped. Do not eat the flash, the flashlight or whatever it is. Oh, let it snow. Well, thank you, Pocket Paris, for letting it snow. I really wish. I really hope I get snow up where I am. There's not really uh hasn't really been any. We've been getting a lot of rain, um, and part of our apartment is kind of leaking, unfortunately. But I told maintenance about it. Hopefully they'll fix it before it rains again. Uh, but I could go for a little bit of snow, honestly. One, two. Three to the dead ends. Just go. Colin. Uh. Yeah. Let's 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 go to the end of this hall. Let's check. I think this is gonna be another maybe a treasure chest on this side, but let's find out. Go all the way to the end. So good to know that's just a dead end. Well, I mean, you know, it's here's up that mystery. It's just a dead end. And let's go. You have eight inches! Oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely stay safe if you're getting that much snow. I don't think where I live we've gotten eight inches of snow in years. Let's try going. Oop. Uh, e farmer. We have to use a spell to talk to them. Let's actually do that. You are brave to approach me. All right. <laughs> Sergeant Legend Killer. Uh, I don't remember what Rod Sterling sounds like, but yeah, Twilight Zone uh, man voice. Imagine if you will, the year is 2064. Fedorasaur is playing Fantasy Star for the 37th time, and yet she has let yet to learn to start her map in the center of the graph paper. <laughs> Eight inches of snow is taller than Pocket is. <laughs> you know what? That very well could be. <laughs> they don't call her Pocket Paris for nothing. She's a parasaurolophus that can fit in your pocket. <laughs> And the little petting, uh, petting the plushy emote, by the way, was made by Blue Thunder, who we saw in chat earlier, or it might still be here. Uh, yes, Blue is an artist and does very cute emotes, so go check, check him out if you want something cute like that for yourself. Three HP in a dream. We're doing, no, it's, we're doing all right. Our, our party's doing okay. We're, we're doing all right. <laughs> also, I kind of accidentally didn't see how many steps that was. Uh, one, two steps. Okay, got it, got it. Oh, Blue, you're still here. Hello, Blue. <laughs> and yes, the uh, fire breathing pocket. The fire breathing pocket is the one that I made uh, for Pocket Paris, but the, the plushy one is the one that uh, Blue made. Pocket trying to melt the snow. Okay, treasure chest. Do we want to open that treasure chest? I think we do. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. A flash. Okay, more more flashlights. We're that's fine. No problem. No problem. All right. So now let's try seeing what the other direction has. One, two. Turn to the right. What could be down this way? Let's find out. Oh, treasure chest. Gosh, there's so many treasure chests that we missed coming in here. And let's open that up. What did we find? All right, 50 mesetas. That's the currency. Um, we've almost mapped this entire floor. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm on. I feel like I'm on a roll here. We got Noah. We got, and usually the encounter rate is much higher than that than this, but because this is the um. I, I turned the setting on 
the Ages version of the game, which has got a lower encounter rate, which, you know, we, we're not dying quite as much as a, uh, you would die, I, I think, on the classic version of Fantasy Star. But you never know, maybe we would be, uh, we wouldn't be dying quite as much. Maybe we would actually be doing really well on the uh, original version. All right, so let's see what we can find at the end of the hallway here. Let me see what's up here. Sorry for my sniffles, by the way. So now we are at this little path here. So let's see what, what how many steps forward. One, two, three, four. You know what? We're, <laughs> we're we're barely on the edge there. I think we're all right. Um, let's turn ourselves. Nothing. Oops. There's nothing. It's a dead end. That's okay. Now we know. We've mapped. We've mapped the whole floor. We know. We know where everything is now. Now we just gotta go up the stairs and map the floor above us. Warm enough to melt a little snow, and then we're heading right back into the negative 10 weather. Uh, the city is just going to be ice over again. Oh my gosh, Pocket, stay safe! Ice Age of the Dinos! And we should be pretty close to the stairs. If I mapped, if I mapped us right. There we go, there's the staircase. Now the question is, where does the staircase actually lead us in relation to the floor above us? I tried to kind of get these lined up as closely as possible. Uh, so we are currently, we're currently right here. So we'll see if that lines up. We'll see where that, we'll see that where that puts us. If it if it lines up exactly, then what I'm thinking what I'm thinking is it'll be about two steps. Off. It'll be somewhere around here, I think. Where I drew that circle, I think that's where we are. But a little, it's a little hard to say. Just, let's just humor me for a moment. Because we know the, anything in the blue marker is the stuff I'm adding on, so humor me. We'll say this is the staircase. And can we find our way out? One, two, three, five. off on where the staircase is, but I think I think I know where we are. If I'm if I'm right, I think we're just I think we're just around the corner there. So we're not we didn't actually get too lost this time. Let's see what's going on uh, this side of the map. coming together. That's a relief. <laughs> oh, another Stego self-care. Thank you so much for that. I'm gonna do a big stretch and you guys can do it with me if you'd like. Oh, and there's Roger. Oh my gosh, Roger. Let's give you guys a full screen Roger actually while I'm doing my big stretch here. There he is. He's so snuggly in his little blanket nest. Ooh, we do a big stretch and we're going to check my posture here. Take a little sip of this tea, which has probably gotten a little cold since it's been sitting out, but that's okay. Roger's little ears are so cute. It's, it might be hard to tell, but he's got little, like, fuzzy tufts at the tips of his ears. 
It's very adorable. He's breathing all slow. He's so sleepy. He sleeps a lot. Um, usually he's asleep during stream, but sometimes, um, sometimes you see him up and about or drinking his water. And because he's blind, I think he doesn't really understand how to use his water fountain. He'll just like stick his head in the spout where it's pouring out and he'll get it on his face, but you know, he does his best. <laughs> he loves that blanket. Oh, and uh, that's a little, um, those little Ikea shark plushies uh, next to him, by the way. Little blow high plushies. It's a little, it's a little off frame, but that's what that shark, that's what that fluffy thing next to him is. Yep. This is his little blow high. Let's go ahead and... Yep, yeah, it's a blow high. It's a Lady Flim. Uh, got that. It's, it's, well, it's her blow high, but, oh, it means blue shark. I guess that makes sense, because <laughs> it's a blue shark. <laughs> blue shark in Swedish. Okay. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, blow high. Uh, oh, there, <laughs> there's the shark. Keeping, keeping Roger safe. Keeping Roger, oh yes, Valmaxi. And Valmaxi also has kind of a, kind of an orange cat, not, not as orange as Roger, but uh, Valmaxi's cat, Caramel, uh, a very cute emote of Caramel there. <laughs> yes, babies. All the babies, all of them. Oh, bl um, Blau High? Is that how the Dutch one is? <laughs> I guess it's a good way so that you know how to say it just by like, <laughs> just by uh, looking at it. Or open oh, another treasure chest. How did we miss all these treasure chests when we first came through here? Keep on Noah. Sloppy lines, but there you go. Bl blow high. <laughs> I'm so it's so cool having people who come to stream from like all over the world. It's so fun, like you know, hearing other people's experiences and like vocabulary and just like the way stuff is like in other places. It's so fun. It's so fun to have such a variety of people uh, that come into here in the chat and to watch what I'm doing in different time zones, <laughs> even if it's like the middle of the night. <laughs> but yes, please, please sleep if you need sleep. And some cola. That'll go with our burgers. Uh, okay. So we've mapped almost every- actually, no, we have mapped everything now, so let's get out of here. Let's- let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get the heck out of here. Um... Just looking at my- looking at my map. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out, because the, uh, entrance is, like, in the very center. I'm not even like really looking at my map that closely because I know that the entrance is like right in the middle. There we go. All right, we did it. We're out. I'm gonna turn off the uh, the camera. And if we want, we can like look around Motavia a little bit before we uh we got to go back to the previous uh, planet. But uh, give my hands a rest. My hands are getting a little sweaty. It's good to get a whole dungeon done in one stream. I think the previous streams have been like multiple streams per dungeon, but we finally, <laughs> we finally did a whole dungeon and got a party member all in the same stream with time to spare. So let's look around, let's look around a little bit. Uh, Reiji says it does approach midnight by time the Wednesday streams wrap up. Fantasy Star is admittedly a fun to watch to wind down. Probably stressful to play with all the map making and what the map making is fun, except for like the couple of times where we just Oh, look at Noah's overworld sprite. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> uh, but then, yeah, I mean, the times where I did map make mistakes in the map and have to kind of like start over and that was kind of scary and stressful. Ooh, a crawler. We haven't seen these before. Ooh, kind of like a, kind of like a sandworm, but like, I, I have a feeling his attack animation is gonna be like lunging out of the sand. Uh, <laughs> we'll give it a try. <laughs> We gotta get some more equipment for Noah, in fact. Whoa! Oh god, I was right. He really lunged. Oh, that was scary. A big olive! <laughs> it's a big olive! <laughs> it does kind of look an olive. Yeah, we gotta get some more equipment for uh, for, uh, for olive for Noah. Oop, meow leveled up. Oh, Noah leveled up. There we go. A long olive. Like a worm on a string, but... <laughs> 
Yeah, the whole party's here. Oh my god, two steps to the next encounter. It'll be our- oh wait, can we talk to them? I didn't think to- No, they can't. We can't talk to the worms. You never know, you never know. Actually, we could try casting the speaking spell. The chat spell. Nope, okay. Never mind. Never mind. You never know, you never know. Alright, let's just- let's just, uh, wail on him. I really love this, uh, this battle theme. It's kind of a bop. Oh, you've got a jar of 200 worms on strings! And a huge two meter long worm on a string! Oh my gosh! I've got a, a couple worms on strings because I wanted to learn how to do the uh, tricks with them, but I haven't, I haven't, like, learned the tricks well enough to actually show on stream, though. Uh, you know, you can make them kind of like jump between like cups and stuff. I think that's really cute. It's like a magic trick, but it's like, you know, it's the worm on a string, but it's cute. It's cute. So I want to try to do something like that. <laughs> you understand our language? We do. We all speak the same uh, intergalactic basic or whatever it's called on Star Wars. You just like them and hand them to friends whenever you send them stuff. Oh, that's so sweet. It's such a nice gift. They are really cute. The ones I have have like little googly eyes, so like their eyes kind of wiggle when they move. It's it's very adorable. Galactic basic, that's what it's called. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, it was something like that. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case in this universe, but we can understand them, so... Okay, good. We're all leveling up. We're all leveling up. Yeah, there's supposed to be, um what we think are Star Wars references in this game, because some of the guards look like stormtroopers. Very suspicious. Uh, let's actually heal. Let's like, get some healing. Actually, should we report into the mayor now that we've got Noah? Let's actually... here, let's, let's heal first. I know it's gonna cost money to heal here, but... Uh, can you not heal everybody at once? I mean, we all need healing. 107, that's so much money, but we got a lot of money. We got a lot of money, so. Also, I love how you can take your cat to the hospital and they just like heal your cat. I guess it's like a hospital slash veterinarian office. And this version of the game also gives you increased uh, money. It's supposed to be kind of a less grindy mode, which I appreciate. Less grinding is good for uh, streaming. All right, how much do we have to pay to heal? I don't think Noah got hurt, actually. I guess he got a little bit hurt. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, sorry for my sniffles. Uh, also... Oh yeah, you're the person who was trying to sell me out. Um, do we have anything that Noah can use? I don't think so. Oh, also, SHT sword, that's, that's short sword. It's not... <laughs> it's not swearing, don't worry. Thick fur is meow. Diamond armor, I feel like that's something for, for Odin, but of course it's way too much money. Let's go to the McDonald's. Oh, secondhand shop, never mind. Okay, well, let's, you know what? Let's sell some stuff while we're here. We've got a very limited inventory. We don't need the flash. We should be careful to not sell any of the important items. Uh, leather shield. Need a leather shield. <laughs> no, it means it's shit. Get a better sword. We got a pretty good one for for Alice, but there's probably another store later that we could get uh, better stuff. Okay, let's sell the, just these flashes. God, he really doesn't give us that much money for them, but you know, we gotta just clean out our inventory somehow. We got too much stuff that we don't need. Make more room for healing items. <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a bop. Also, we haven't found Medusa yet. I think Medusa's actually on the other uh, on, on the other planet we haven't checked out. Cause that's the whole the whole thing Odin was doing was like hunting for Medusa. We didn't really ever resolve that. We had to go find Medusa and probably kill her at some point. <laughs> you didn't know Fantasy Star went back this far. The only exposure to it was playing Fantasy Star Universe on 360 as a kid. Wow. 
Yeah, I've only I've only played these classic. Well, I've played Fantasy Star One and Two, and uh, a little bit of Three. But I'm hoping to go through the whole series, at least the at least the original ones. I might do uh, you know a little bit of the the later Fantasy Stars as well. But this is like where the series began, where everything started. It's very exciting to kind of see the origins of the series. Okay, I think we're good. So these guys don't sell anything for no, but let's actually talk to the mayor again. Also, let's save because after doing that whole thing, I don't want to, I don't want to redo it. Although we did draw the map, so if we do have to end up having to redo something, we can always uh, use the maps we already drew. All right, saving completed. Let's let's see if the mayor's got anything new to tell us. Unless we need to get another cake to talk to him again. But let's see. If we do, it's not really a big deal, but. We're good. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I forgot there's like a free healing here. Oh well. That was quick. Oh, I see. You're not through with Asik. You had best rest at the inn. <laughs> I like how he's like, oh, go get Noah and defeat Lassic. And then he's like, oh, wait, you're, you haven't killed Lassic yet. <laughs> okay, so we, we won't come here until after we've uh, finished uh, with Lassic. So let's, let's just... Okay, I was, a little, I was a little bit scared that we'd have that scary encounter again, but... Oh, you played Final Fantasy VI uh, as a kid, but you're aware of the series. I have, I've actually never played the original uh, Final Fantasies. I'm, I'm very curious about them because I do love these kind of retro RPGs and I'm, I'm curious as to how the original, you know, the first ever Fantasy Star, like, how did that, how was that, what was that like? All right, let's check out... You know what, before we go back and do the secret tunnel, I want to kind of explore Motavia a little more. I want to see what else this desert has in store. Uh. Roger's licking his tail, it looks like. I know we gotta come back here to cross these antlion pits uh, later, but I don't see if there's anything else we can do while we're here. Um, you know, let's just run for now. Let's just see if there's any other things we can do. Oh my gosh, the encounter raid. Uh, we can talk to these guys. Many of the treasure chests in the dungeon are trapped. Yeah, we found that out, unfortunately. We found it out the hard way. <laughs> but luckily no one died from the traps. They just kind of damaged us quite a lot. Okay, we probably can't do anything until we get the item that lets us cross the antlion pits. Scary. Scary Sarlacc pits. Not not Sarlacc pits. <laughs> Fival, thank you for contributing towards the Jigsaw Puzzle Stream. It's really coming along. I think we are. We are <laughs> going to get that Jigsaw Puzzle Stream soon, it seems. Okay, I think we can't. I guess that's all we can do for now in this planet. So let's go back and check out that secret tunnel. Oh. Be careful of pits in the dungeon. Another thing we found out uh, the hard way. Welcome to your doom. <laughs> uh, it's okay if the puzzle stream, if we don't get all the points uh, this month, I can, just, I can just restart it next month. Like, you know, don't, don't worry too much. I mean, the sooner it gets finished, the sooner I will do the Jigsaw Puzzle stream, but don't worry about getting it exactly within the 30 days. Because I, I only stream, you know, two to three times a week, so it, it is a little bit hard to get... to get it within 30 days, you know? But, uh, oh yeah, there's the... the not Stormtrooper. <laughs> You're on a mission! <laughs> well, thank you. The enthusiasm makes me happy. So let's go back to, uh, Palma. Under Palm 1 getting on. Yes, we are. I'll take another sip of tea while that's going. Oh, this hazelnut tea is good. Planet of Palma, a nice lush green world. Alice's home world, or at least the world she grew up on. 
We're supposed to go and find the secret tunnel in the spaceport. I told you guys, that looks like a suspicious manhole cover. Before we go in there, I actually want to see if we get any items for Noah. We might not have anything for him in this town, not until we get to one of the later towns. Roger, what you doing, bud? What you doing? He's thinking. His, his thoughts are spinning in his head. Um, what does this shop have? Secondhand shop, we don't need anything from here. I wish the shops were labeled a little better so I knew which one sold the weapons. Uh, fast food, we don't need any fast food. You can just see the loading symbol on Roger's head. <laughs> okay, what do you have? Iron sword, that the TIT stands for titanium, by the way. <laughs> And ceramic. I think it stands for ceramic CRC. <laughs> Booba sword. We can we can afford we can afford the ceramic sword. That could be good for Alice. It's quite a lot of money though. Let me let me just make sure. <laughs> it's the bird. <laughs> oh, zirconium. It might be. It might be. Yeah, I don't know why ceramic would be. You're right. It probably is zirconium. <laughs> Now, I know the best items, the NPC was like, you want stuff made out of Laconia. It's a rare material. They have a burn the weapon store for sale. <laughs> okay, let's just go down the... We probably don't get anything for Noah until later, so let's just, let's just, let's just see what's down here. Ooh, maybe I should... Yeah, I should be drawing this. Is this like a straight through tunnel? It might just be a straight through tunnel. Oh, nope, it's not. Ooh. Um, let's just see how far we can get in this tunnel, this stream. All right, so we're going to start us, let's just start ourselves right in the middle of it. Well, sort of in the middle, close enough. All right, so how far can we get? Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, whoop. Easy enemies. Sloppy lines, sloppy lines. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll open that. <laughs> you didn't bat an eye at that one. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay. Now we'll just keep going straight through. One, two, three, Oops, staircase leading up. All right, now since that's the end of that hallway, let's actually check out what's down that side path. I'm curious. Down in the sewers. It's down there. Oh, it's a door. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I want to see what's through that door. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. Oh, it's a, it's a just a guy. I'm busy. Don't bother me. I mean, don't bother you. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's a there's a guy in there who doesn't want to talk to us. Noted. Noted. All right. Well. <laughs> well, if we need to talk to a guy, we know where to go. But for now, let's just go up. Standing in the sewers, bur bugger off. <laughs> okay, well, that was a short dungeon. <laughs> and this should be the uh, secret forest town. Uh, this is, I think they said this leads to the Gothic forest where they, they uh, invented space travel. So I wonder what kind of scientists we'll meet here. Secret science going on here. Yeah. Camera? Gweenium! Welcome on in, Gween! We are finishing up pretty soon, but we're gonna try to just explore this next area for a few minutes. Let's give Gween a shout out. Gweenium. Playing uh Stalker. I think I've heard I feel like I've heard of the Stalker series. Um But tell us about it. I feel like if the name sounds familiar, but I've never played it, so tell us about it, Gweenium. Tell us, tell us. And yes, Gween says everyone's a cutie, so I I will hold you to it. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a hospital. 
There's a church. Oh, there's like... These buildings are all smashed. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we don't need to go in the hospital. Oh, Ukrainian post-apocalyptic game. Okay. Apocalypse. Look at these... What happened to these buildings? All these little folks. Everyone's all, like, bundled up. Oh, gosh. Let's talk to a couple of these NPCs while we're here. Let's talk to this person by the little house here. Could you spare me a cup of cola? Aw, I think we do have a cola we can give them. Don't, don't go near the tower at the far end of the narrow road, which goes from the gothic forest through the mountains. A magic beast lives there. I'm gonna make a note of that. Oh, Roger's doing a little stretch. Hi, Roger, what you doing? Can't tell if he's stretching or if he's about to, uh... Oh, that's where Medusa is. Okay, thank you, NPC. Thank you, thank you. We do need to resolve Noah's whole, uh, or Odin's whole quest. Odin's whole quest about fighting Medusa. Oh, Roger, what you up to? What you up to, little buddy? Let's see what this person has to say. Cannot come through here. It is my area. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't go to the Cursed Castle, player. I absolutely gotta go to the Cursed Castle ASAP. That's that's my brain right now, Ragey. I'm like, oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go fight Medusa. Let's go fight the monster that turns us to stone. Uh, do we have more cola? I don't know if we do. Oh, we don't. Shoot. 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 We'll come back here for more, uh, with more soda. It's like... I kind of feel bad for these guys. They like, don't have any, like, food or drink and we can't even really help them with that. View. Oh, there's like nobody here. Just like abandoned. Oh, this is kind of sad. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's probably somebody in that, like, gold building, but I'm gonna check these other ones first, see if there's anything. Whoa. Oh, wait, that's where he came in. That's where he came in. That's where he came in. <laughs> these guys are dressed in rags, all they accept is soda. <laughs> I kind of wonder if, like, cola was some kind of translation of, like, the healing item, but, like, it wasn't, you know, maybe it was supposed to be something else originally and they just changed the name to cola i don't know <laughs> maybe when they translated it they just for whatever reason were like yeah burgers and soda <laughs> now the one meme in the desert where the water is one way and coca-cola is the other <laughs> oh gosh what happened here this town is just a complete completely in ruins this is I do want to get another cola to give to that other guy to see what uh, he's got for us, but let's, let's see what's uh, in here. Secondhand shop. Uh, so wait, aren't we supposed to meet somebody here? We said to get to the Gothic Forest. Maybe that's where this other path leads. But uh, we'll probably save that for next time, though. So yes, we do want to go. We do want to go find Medusa uh, next time, but we'll save that for next time. Oops. Because <laughs> I think there's gonna be a whole other part of the game here. So let's go ahead and save. Figure who we want to raid out to. Uh, okay. And let's go back to my uh, main screen. Let's go back to here. And who do we want to raid out to? Who's live? Let's see. Yes, good night. Get some good, get some good rest. Thank you for hopping on into stream. Go do what you gotta do. What are we? Who's live? Who's live? Oh, thank you for the snow. <laughs> here's here's hoping we get some snow for real real soon. Um. Hey, you know what? Speaking of Noah. Noah the Otter is live. We can, we let's go to Noah the Otter. I think that makes sense. We found a character named Noah. I think it only makes sense to hop into Noah the Otter. Uh, he's also, he's very sweet little uh, VTuber who's an otter. And he's very open about like mental health awareness, autism. Uh, he's like, he's very openly autistic, not, you know, he's a really sweet guy, wholesome vibes. Uh, and he's, he's playing retro games tonight. So that, that's even better because we were playing retro games tonight. So you know what? Let's say hi to Noah the Otter. 
Yes, no, thank you for coming. It was really nice to see you guys. It's really nice to see how much interest there is in these old games, because uh, I love them a lot, and I'm glad that you guys love them as well. Uh, so my next stream is actually going to be this Saturday. I'll be playing Deus Ex, and then on Sunday I'll be playing Spyro the Dragon. I'll also read the next chapter of Song of the Sorrels, and I will let viewers pick another game for me, because uh, Sunday is variety, and I kind of leave it up to the viewers to decide what I'm going to play. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, Deus Ex JC Denton. That's coming up on Saturday around uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> Can't wait to see the big robot man again. Yes, Gunther. We, we love Gunther here. Yes, thank you so much for coming, everybody. If it's late in your time zone, get some sleep. Uh, and uh, if you can stick around, say hi to Noah. And uh, I'll, I'll be getting myself some more tea in a bit, I think. And I'm going to put you guys on full screen, Roger, as we get ready to raid out. There he is. All right. <laughs> Enjoy Roger as we get ready to raid out here. And uh, let's have fun uh, at Noah's stream. <laughs> All right. So I'll see you guys. Uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for coming.